Hello fellow steamers, St. Paul Steam here. This is what I call a barrel rotisserie. It's got a one liter oak barrel. It's a custom one. It's got mine my wife's name on it and the year we were married. And uh, I wanted it to be a rotisserie that a steam engine could power. And we've done that. Let's take a quick look around and I'll hook it up to a steam engine here in a second. It's got uh, copper sides on it. It's got two axles that the uh, barrel rides on. I'll show you the inside workings in a second. There's the drive pulley. All right, let's look at the inside of it. It's fairly simple. We've got uh, two axles. They have rollerball bearings under them, so they turn over very easily. And we have a locating bearing right back there. The barrel, actually it runs pretty true and pretty centered with the curvature of the barrel, it tends to do that. But in one direction, it wanted to lean back a little bit, so that bearing helps keep it in line. So if I walk away from it, it doesn't tumble onto the floor. So let's put it all together and put it over my uh, SIP steam engine I got running behind me. And uh, put it into, into action. Be back in just a second, folks. Okay, we got the half horse hook, SIP engine hooked up, and then she's running at an incredible speed. And we're going through some gear reduction there. And actually, it'll go much slower than you see right now. But it was so slow that I don't think anybody would think it was moving. Let's turn the Wonkavator up to an incredible speed. Here we go. Hang on tight. Doubled our speed right there. We're flying now. Lower back down before it hurts something. There we go. Uh, that was a dizzying speed. But there we go, folks. St. Paul Steam Barrel Rotisserie. Got to keep the ingredients in your mash mixed up at all times. <laughs> As always, folks, thanks for looking. Bye now.